Hey everybody, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com. Today, I am happy to present you guys with the Skytex Imagine 7. This has to be one of the best looking 7-inch tablets I've seen. Be it a Google Nexus 7, um, Kindle Fire, Galaxy Tab, what have you, they all look so much the same they all have a black bezel with a black screen no front facing speakers just cookie cutter big gigantic oversized phone looking tablets this thing is piano white you can make out the the camera there it has front facing speaker and the style of this metal kind of aluminum-esque border it looks really great. There aren't many white tablets out there uh, outside of Apple. And I think this one is looking mighty fine. So let's get into some specs here. It's a 7-inch 1280 by 800 IPS capacitive display. It's running an eight Cortex-A9 dual-core processor clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. Has 1 gig of RAM and it's running Android 4.1. You have a micro SD card, expandable up to 32 gigabytes, and you have 16 on board. 16 gigabyte with an expandable memory card is a really high capacity, low cost. It's a high capacity storage for such a low cost device is what I'm trying to say. It's, it's uh, usually like the Google Nexus. They don't have a expandable memory. Same with the Kindle Fires. They don't have expandable memory. So it's nice to see that these guys do allow that. So looking on the front once again, front-facing camera with a uh, front-facing speaker. So as you're watching media, the sound is coming where it should be, towards the viewer, rather than down the side or out, or out the back, which I don't really agree with because the media should be here. Skytex logo, as I said, it's a uh, piano white finish. On the left side of the device, you have what they label an escape key, volume up and down, power button slash... Uh, standby button, very nice clean top, squared off look. On the right you have your micro USB, your microphone, and your DC charger. That's probably the only thing hardware-wise I have to complain about this is that it requires a DC charger instead of charging off of the USB. That's a very small thing, but it's one of the things I, I've never been a fan of, having an extra charger I need to find <laughs> with my million other chargers. Skytex logo, 16 gigabyte stamp on the bottom, micro SD card, and a 3.5 mil headphone jack. Uh, I think the back looks really nice. It's made out of sturdy, sturdy material. Uh, it offers a decent amount of grip, so you're not going to feel like you're, this is going to fall out of your hand. Uh, we're going to dive into the software side of things. We're going to look at uh, application distribution. We're going to look at the reading experience, comic books, newspapers, magazines and a whole lot more so stay tuned what we're gonna do is start with the reading experience because this doesn't have Google Play we can't go to Google Play books but it is Android and they have several marketplaces on this device which we'll show you guys a little bit later so what we're gonna do is open Amazon because that's what we have downloaded onto here and we have already signed into so we're going to go to downloaded items. These are ones that I've downloaded from our corporate account. And just click on a book to open it. Here's the stock reading experience before you change any of the text on uh, Amazon. So you can click the middle to open up text augmentation here. And you can reduce the text to show more of the book. Space the line margins out. You can do single column line spacing and night mode sepia or sepia and daytime mode you also have brightness control pressing and holding can make notes and highlights at the top you see note highlight and search in book make a highlight tapping the top right corner actually bookmarks the page you can see there Everything stays with you as you go. So this is the reading experience. Uh, there's no fancy page turn animations, but uh, there is a slider. So as you slide the pages, um, you can kind of peek. It's not quite as nice as, say, uh, Google Books or Apple's way of uh, displaying ebooks. 
Next thing we're going to look at is magazines. Once again, there is no Google magazines by default on here. So we're going to look at Zinio. Going to open this up. And we're going to look at a automotive magazine. So we'll just read. So much like a magazine, it starts out on the cover page. And as you can see, the text is very unreadable. This is because we are really far zoomed out and it's not very easy to make out because, well, we're looking at it from really far away. So what you should do, pinch and zoom, that will actually render the text. You can see it takes a second and then it smooths everything out and it becomes instantly readable. A little bit laggy. Nothing that's going to take you out of enjoying your magazine, though. You can see that the screen resolution is very good. So the colors pop. And remember, this is 1200 by 800 on a 7-inch screen. The Asus Mimo Pad Smart is 1200 by 800 on a 10.1-inch screen. So, in essence, you're actually going to get a much clearer picture on this because the images won't look so blown up. So you can't do much with magazines, um, but indeed you can view them uh, as they are, as they were intended. And it's actually the entire real magazine. So uh, as you go along, you will see things like maybe crossword puzzles based on what magazine you're looking at or ads for certain, um, you know, everything from skinware products to watches. I mean, it's the full magazine ads included. So uh, you're getting a de you're getting the full experience. You can see here we're looking at Wine Enthusiast Magazine. So this is a magazine experience. Next we're going to look at newspapers. Once again, we don't have Google Newspapers. So what we're going to do is utilize Press Reader for that. We have downloaded the Vancouver Sun, so we're going to go ahead and open that. Quick reading tips on how to. We will go ahead and swipe away. So you can see there's the reading experience. And what we're seeing here is a very, once again, unreadable text. So what we're going to do is pinch and zoom. If I don't turn the page by accident. There we go. Oh, I went to the contents at the bottom there. So you're getting a little bit of delay in moving the pages around. I keep accidentally changing the page when I'm trying to scroll like this. There we go. So there you go, you got some new Pope. It's pretty big news. Same with the magazines, you get phone ads. See, this one's from Rogers. Now say you're reading it like this and you can't see an article. Well, all you have to do is click the blue banner and what it does is condense that article into a very readable ebook style format. Even on a quad-core processor like the Asus uh, Mimo pad. We saw a lot of lagging in this mode, so it's more than likely the application, the way it displays everything rather than the device itself. So you can see you can go article by article up until front page to back page. So this is a very useful mode if you want to really dive in and get a familiar look on how to read things. And of course you have the option to change the text styles and the text, uh, the font size. Next thing we're going to look at is comic books. So we're going to use Comixology. And we're going to go to My Comics and check out a G.I. Joe comic. So as you can see here, the colors are very vibrant. It's very clear and crisp. Remember, you do have guided view here. So what this will do is format it properly for the way you're holding it, be it portrait or landscape. My opinion and a lot of people's opinion, comic books look better in portrait mode because, well, they just do. So you got that. And you can also pinch and zoom. And you can see that resolution's really taking effect here and you're getting a really clear, really crisp picture. 
no, you can't endlessly zoom like you can on a Microsoft Surface, boo-hoo, but you're getting a very nice picture and it becomes very readable. There's not much you can do to change anything on this, but pinching and zooming is pretty much, well, it is pretty much that. You can conform it to a very comfortable level. They had to go to college first. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Very funny, Sullivan. You look great, Wazowski. You know, if you're going to prank someone, the least you could do is think of something clever. So we choose Pixar and Disney and DreamWorks trailers usually because they're filled with color, a lot of movement, and they're usually uh, CG, so they end up, you really get an idea of how uh, smooth all the characters and the picture really is. So the audio is really great for a single speaker. Um, I would have liked to see another speaker on the other side too, but for what it is, uh, the speaker's really good, and it's on the right place, more importantly. It's all about location. If you have it flat on the back, you're going to get it muffled with, when you hold it with your hand. Um, when you hold it uh, landscape or portrait, it might, you might, your arm might actually cover it. And uh, with the speaker and the video being on the same panel, really makes a difference. It really does. And you can see that the video quality was... Uh, quite quite high for a uh, seven inch tablet we don't have google music but uh, one of the last things we're gonna look at before we wrap is a game and we're going to choose rayman jungle run because this is a cg game a lot of things going on and we'll see how this plays out A lot of animations. But yeah, you can see a lot of animations going on, a lot of things flying around on the screen, and the tablet is handling it wonderfully. This is because it is a dual-core tablet. And if we click this button here, let's go home for a sec and click this button, you'll see everything we ever even touched is still running. Zinio, Amazon, Kindle, Press Reader, Comics, YouTube, Browser, everything's still running, and the tablet performs beautifully. So you're not going to see much lagging with this. The hardware is there. The, it's a dual-core processor, Giga RAM. And, I mean, it, it handles anything you really throw at it. Um, obviously, we all like to see quad-core and tablets now, but it's just not realistic with manufacturer costs because, and, and user costs. Because if you want to keep a tablet cost-effective, like a Skytex Imagine 7, you're more than likely going to get dual-core processing. Whereas, if you get a Nexus 7, it's going to be up in the $300 plus range in order for a quad-core processor. Last thing we're going to look at is application distribution. We have a couple ways to do this. We have the mobile, one mobile market. So you can see here, this is where you would get most of your applications. Looks very much like Google Play, except the resolution on all of these images aren't quite as high. Still though, looking very good. Scroll to the right, you get RPG games, RPG, uh, top editor's picks, and much more. You can also go to the search bar to search for uh, categories or specific apps themselves. Uh, you can download over 200,000 free applications from the One Mobile Marketplace um, via this application. What else you could do is Skytex has actually taken it into their own to work with Goody Reader to create the 
Skytech's App Store. And what this is, is their own proprietary application market powered by GoodyReader.com. This is a place where you'll find about 16 to 17,000 free tablet optimized applications. Simple two click download will get you pretty much anything you need. Fast download speeds, install, done, open. It's always great to see the tablet manufacturer to take it into their own to create their own app store because, I mean, a lot of devices out there aren't Google, certif Google Play certified because of certain uh, restrictions, hardware restrictions, and so forth. But two things, because this is Android, you can sideload your own applications in, and that they have their own app store available, this does give the user some peace of mind to know that when they get this tablet, they're going to be able to get all the apps they need. And if you look at this, tab uh, Skytex actually includes Get, it's called. So they have Get Fruit Ninja, Get Temple Run, um, get Adobe, get Netflix, get YouTube, and so forth. This is preloaded on the machine. So what you would do is click on it, and it would say, get Fruit Ninja, and you can either download it. Are you sure you want to download Fruit Ninja? Yes. And then it downloads. I think this is a great idea. Reason being, when people get, we're a goodie reader and we do, we, we handle a lot of customer service uh, comments and concerns day to day. We ask, we have a lot of people ask, what should I download for my tablet? What's good? What's a good file explorer? Should I get Flash? Etc. Etc. They do it for you. They tell you what the latest apps are, what you should download, what they recommend, that you should get Amazon, and so forth. I mean, I think it's great that they think about the customer so much to actually include all of these. Get Amazon, App Store, get CloudLink, uh, get Facebook, and all you got to do is click on it, and it prompts you to either uninstall the downloader or download the application without you having to go around and guess which one that may be the best one. And they've also included a file manager, which most tablets don't have. They usually just have gallery, and that's not very in-depth. So all in all, what I think about the Skytex tablet is that it is very, it's a very low-cost tablet. It ranges anywhere from 180 to 220 based on where you get it from. Our sales partner, ShopyReaders.com, they have the tablets available. And it's a great package. It's a small, thin, light, well-built tablet with good materials it's white thank goodness usually the tablets as i said if you missed the beginning they all just look like a big gigantic cell phone um they just kind of they're, they're cookie cutter because they know that's what people like and they're neutral enough but i think it's good to try things different i like the speaker on the front i really wish they'd put another speaker on the other side to give it a more full multimedia feel uh, videos play great applications run smoothly even with everything open I mean, you're not getting any lag whatsoever. The only lag we really see are the applications themselves, like Press Reader and Zinio. It's not Google certified, so you have to download applications from One Mobile or the Skytex App Store, which isn't a problem because they come preloaded on the device, along with many other suggested applications that they take it into their own account to offer you. So all in all, I think it's a really good tablet. I think it's low cost, and it's fast enough to handle anything that comes at you. For more comparisons and reviews on this tablet and many others, you can go to youtube.com slash goodyreader or you can go to apps.goodyreader.com to get all the latest Android applications and BlackBerry Z10 and BlackBerry Playbook applications. And for everything else, leave a comment, send a message, uh, watch our other videos. Please stay involved and let us know if you need anything. And for Goody Reader, everybody, this is Peter. See you later.